Retro Sports Network presents NFL 78 Lunch Replay. Today, it'll be the Monday night game in Week 12 between the Miami Dolphins and the Houston Oilers. I can't switch scenes until my other screen decides it wants to behave. Because it's a short week, we're going on the only one game with a holiday. We'll do something on the stream tomorrow night for Thanksgiving and something over the weekend. But with the holiday, just one game from Week 13. 12 makes our replay list, and it's probably one of the most memorable games of all time up until last night, or for that with that magic Rams 54-51 win over the Chiefs. The Dolphins and the Oilers were both 7-4 and four coming into their real-life Monday night game, and the Dolphins won. So this week, the Dolphins and Oilers are fighting for a chance at a playoff spot. They're hurting. Houston has to pass Cincinnati and Kansas City to get there. Miami and Houston are both 6-5. and five. You can see kind of some of the other the standings except for the AFC East. So let's go through the scores. Cleveland upset by Baltimore 19-13. Pittsburgh beat Cincinnati 45-17. Pittsburgh now moves into first place in the AFC Central. Buffalo loses to Tampa 24-7. New England downs the Jets 41-14. At 10-2, New England has almost clinched a tie for the AFC East title at 10-2. The Jets fall to 3-9. If Houston beats Miami, New England will be in the playoffs. That's pretty good considering there's still a month left of the season. In the Joe Pisarczyk Bowl. The Mer there was no miracle at the Meadowlands. The Giants beat the Eagles 20 to 14. Philly falls to six and six. They still got a shot, but Washington is eight and four. Philadelphia, St. Louis, Detroit, Green Bay are six and six. Atlanta is five and seven, but Atlanta could still win the AFs or the NFC West. Washington per pretty much put themselves in the p position to host a wild card game. They beat the Cardinals 24 to seven. Kansas City and Denver remain tied in the AFC West. The Chiefs did it by beating the Seahawks 27-7. Denver beat Green Bay 20-10. The Bears are now in first place in the NFC Central at 7-5. Why? They beat Atlanta 33-27. Walter Payton ran for 163 yards. Dallas goes to 11-1. They beat New Orleans 28-21. San Diego is now out of that three-way tie in the AFC West. Minnesota beat them 20 to six, and Oakland five moves to five and seven. They beat Detroit 27-17. The Rams are in first place in the NFC West because they beat San Francisco 37 to 13. With all that, in a moment, it's Monday Night Football. Well, unlike real life, the Dolphins are favored. Houston is favored by two. And guess what? Houston was favored by two in real life. How about that? As we get set to replay a classic, the Oilers and Dolphins from November 21st, November 20th, 1978. Both teams in this replay are six and five. Miami has won the toss. It's Dario Harris that sits back on his eight-yard line. Houston will kick. This is a big one. Whoever loses is probably not going to make the playoffs. With a, if Miami loses, New England has pretty much clinched a tie in the AFC East. They are 10-2. and two. So you're ready. The kick is away. And taken by Harris at the 5-yard line. 10, 15, 20 to the 26-yard line. Tony Frisch was the one that made the kickoff. A 23-yard return. Bob Gracie is healthy. And Leroy Harris and Delvin Williams are in the backfield with Gracie. Nat Harris and Daryl Moore, the wide receivers, and Tillman is the tight end for Miami. They're going to go left to right. We're indoors. That field's a little more decorated than Houston's field, but it's still a nice field. 
were on the turf, one of the rare turfs where the numbers were chalked on. And at least the baseball part of the season, the sliding pits were exposed, which was rare for indoors. So it's a biggie. Off tackle, Dario Williams from handoff from Greasy from the 26, and he's hit right at the line of, or line gain of two. It'll be second and eight from the Miami 28. Dave Gardner says, I just got this game, learning the basics. All right, well, if you have any questions, ask in the chat. That's what we're here for. I believe everyone who normally watches actually owns this game. It's a good game. It really is. So, second and eight for the Dolphins from their own 28. Again, off tackle left to Williams. I think I ran that play already. Flag down. And Kiner makes the tackle no gain. Holding offense. Number 38. 10-yard penalty. And Harris gets called for the hold. Are we still doing the echo? No, it's fine. So, it'll be second and 18 for Miami. From their own 18, so they got to get to the 36. Harris on a short flat. Greasy throws incomplete, but there's a flag down. Brazil was tangled up. Defense. Number 52. Oh, what a mistake by Houston. What a mistake by Houston. Brazil, with that pass interference, gives Miami an automatic first down. That's big because it would have been third and 18 otherwise. So first and 10 from the Dolphin 23. First minute of the first period. Leroy Harris on a dive. Handoff from Greasy across the 25 to the 26. And Baumgartner makes a tackle. That's Stemmerich. You see limping off. And I believe a Reinfeldt is the one that's actually there. What is my game speed setting? Well... I'll give it to you, but things slow down because I have the streamer working with it. Right? So there's no pause and slightly... Oh, play my play. You want to feel this play, I assume. Uh, medium. It's just on medium. Just on medium. But the Dolphins can't be on medium because they need this game. Let's introduce the offensive line for Miami. From left to right. It's Mike Current, left tackle. Ed Newman is left guard. Jim Langer is a very good center. Larry Little is a Hall of Fame right guard. And the right tackle is Bob Kuchenberg. Second and eight. Pitch to Williams on the left. Williams gets the handoff. Waits for a block. Isn't going to get there. Brazil makes a tackle right at the 25. It'll be third and long for Miami. Let's meet the Houston defense real quick. They play a 3-4. Steve Baumgartner is the left defensive end. He's a linebacker. He's not that great. Fairly Culp is. He's a 9. And Elvin Bethea is a 9 as well, even though in some places he's a 10. Robert Brazil is the outside, right outside linebacker. He's a 10. Greg Bingham is a good middle linebacker. And Steve Kiner, who makes lots of tackles in these games, is the other middle linebacker. And Ted Washington is on the left outside. Billy Alexander is the left corner. J.C. Wilson is the right corner. Mike Reinfeld is the strong safety, and Bill Courier is the free safety. Short slant to Nat Moore on third and eight. Greasy back to throw. He has time. He's got Moore for a first down, and Moore gets it to the 35-yard line before being hit by Al Johnson. And it'll be first and ten from the Dolphins right there. It's a gain of nine. First and ten. That's the first throw from Greasy. First series of the game. 
Williams, trap left. He's going to run with the line is good. He gets it across the 35. Brazil makes the stop at the 38. A gain of four. Second and six for the Dolphins. First series of the game. And Williams will come out. He's tired. Gary Davis takes his place. Teams are starting to get tired. If we hit the last quarter of the season, there's only four weeks after this game. Harris on a sweep to the right on second and six. Greasy gives it to him, and he is stopped by Washington for no gain at the 38. So, again, Miami's forced with third and long, and they'll go three wide receivers. Daryl Harris, medium slant, greasy, is blitzed. He's got the kitchen sink coming at him. He waits. He throws. It's incomplete. So Bingham and Washington blitzed, and Greasy just couldn't get it off. Oh, he got it off, but he just had to rush it. So Miami is forced to punt. And out comes Guy Roberts. Coleman and Merkins are your return men for Houston. Roberts will stand at his own 23. And Houston wants to return this. <clears throat> It will be fielded at the 19 to the 25. Good return to the 27-yard line. That's Merkins from the 18 towel with a stop, a 44-yard punt, a 36-yard net. And Houston starts their first possession at their own 26. Depends on the year, Dave. If it's, I don't, the kneel came in in what, 94? In those early seasons, you can't kneel, and that's why if you caught the opening, we mentioned the Joe Pisarchik play. I'll explain that after a couple plays. It's Earl Campbell, who ran for 199 yards in this game in real life, and Tim Wilson in the backfield, Burrow and Renfro, the wide receivers for Dan Passerini and Marion Barber. Or Barber is the tight end. What do you think we're going to do? All sorts of road Campbell. This time on a trap left from the 26. Gets across the 30 into the secondary, and it's a first down. Towel made it. Towel made the tackle, but not before Campbell got 10. Carl Mock, the center, is the one that made the big hole. And let's meet this offensive lot. Let's meet this offense that's going to give Earl Campbell a big game, shall we? Dan Pastorini is the quarterback. Earl Campbell, 1,450 real-life yards. He's well over 1,000 on the season already. Tim Wilson is the other running back. Mike Barber is the tight end. Looks very neat and tidy in that picture. Ken Burrow is your, is your near-side wide receiver. And Mike Renfro is your far-side wide receiver. From left to right, Morris Towns is your left tackle. Conway Heyman is your left guard. Carl Mott, who just made that big block for Campbell, is the center. Ed Fisher, the right guard. And Greg Sampson is the right tackle. First and 10 from the Houston 36. Campbell sweep left to the near side. Gets it nowhere. In fact, Towel read that one all the way. And it's a loss of four. They keen on Campbell and played a zone against the run, and it's a loss of four, second and 14. I always play just offense. Makes it fair if I play both sides. Second and 14, and Pastorini will go to the air for the first time today. He's going to go medium hitch to Kenny Burrow. Miami blitzes. Pastorini steps around it. He dumps it down to Wilson at the 35. And he'll get a couple before Bo Camper will make the tackle for a gain of five, third and nine. Let's meet the Dolphin defense. They play a 3-4. From right to left, Vern Der Herter is the defensive end. Or left to right, Bom Bomhauer is in the middle. A.J. Dewey, a name that you can't mention in the borough of Queens and in Long Island, is the right defensive end. Jim Bocamper, the left outside linebacker. Rusty Chambers, one of the middle linebackers. He is joined by Steve Towell, who's made a bunch of tackles already. And Larry Gordon is on the outside, the right outside. 
Left corner, Norris Thomas. And Norris is very, very good. Curtis Jackson is the right corner. Rick Volk is the free safety. And Tim Foley is the strong safety. And I'll show you that in the game setup. It's both teams human, and, and then just make sure you check computer coach both defenses. And you're all set for the offenses, okay? So third and nine, following that dump off to Wilson. Burrow on a medium slant. Miami does not blitz this time. Pastorini has time. He waits. He dumps it down to Barber instead, who tries to get the first down. He cuts across, and it's just short. It's a gain of nine, and Thomas makes the tackle to save it. So from the 46, they'll go three tight ends for Campbell. Off tackle left. Houston's going to go for it. And if Campbell can't get this, no one can. And the answer is no one can. <laughs> he is stopped short. Carl Mock, who set up the big first down to start this drive, cannot make the cannot make the block. And Kim Bocamper got in there to stop him. So even with three tight ends, Earl Campbell is a human bowling ball, but sometimes bowling balls fly in the gutter. First and ten from the Houston 46, no score. Halfway through the first quarter, Greasy is going to try for more on a long slant under center. Houston blitzes. Greasy now is out of time, and Washington gets the sack. So a good read by the Oilers. They were playing a tight man-to-man -man against the pass and doubling Daryl Harris. So right call, wrong result if you're a Dolphins fan, and it's second and 16. Davis on the draw from the Miami 48. He gets across midfield into Houston territory all the way to the 40. And Courier knocks him down at, at the 38. Larry Little, the left guard, ripped open that hole, and he drove right through it. So it's third and two for the Houston 38. Miami not in field goal range yet. But what a big play that was. Leroy Harris on a trap left on third down and gets the first down. And Kiner makes... No, he doesn't. It's just short. It's just short. And now Don Shula has some thinking to do. If he goes with Ephraim here for the 53-yarder, it's a 1-in-5 chance. They're going. Greasy says, it's mine. Regular formation. Greasy waits. Greasy's got it. Brazil gets credit for the tackle, but Bob just went behind Little and Langer and got his yard. So that's amazing. Who would have thought if you needed a yard, would you rather go with Earl Campbell or Bob Greasy? If you said Bob Greasy, you'd be laughed out of town, but you'd be right. First and 10, fresh set for the Dolphins from the Houston 35. Again, Davis off tackle left. I got to bring Williams back in. Flag is down, but Thea makes the tackle right at the line. Sides, defense. But somebody Nine, jumped. Five yard Curly passing. Culp jumped. So another mistake by Houston gives it first and five for the Dolphins from the Oiler 30. Williams comes back in. 5.08 to go. Clock stopped. Andre Tillman will come out. Loyard McCreary will be the blocking tight end. Miami doesn't throw their tight end. Well, they got 30 catches. I guess you can't say he never did. Delvin Williams on a sweep to the far side from the 30. Gets a nothing. Kiner stands him right up at the line. They keyed him, and it works. So that's two for Steve Kiner. And a second and five from the 30. They are in your premium range. You'll have a 71% chance if they can't get a first down. Harris on a medium hitch. Oilers blitz from the corners. 
Greasy is flush and Washington sacks him. Second sack for Ted Washington today and it's third and 11 and it says in the play-by-play -play that Don Shula is livid. Greasy had to throw that away. Delvin Williams was the key back, but Greasy can't sit there and take that. Now you take a field goal pretty much out of Miami's hands. Draw to Williams. It worked before with Harris, and it kind of works here. Washington makes a tackle for a gain of three, so it's fourth and eight. And now you pretty much got a coin flip. 50-50. Out comes your premium. No score, 337, first quarter, clock running. Roberts, the punter, will hold. Longer, or Langer, the center, will snap it. The Premian, who will go to Tampa after this year, is on. The kick from 50 yards is up. The kick from 50 yards is good. And with 2.58 to go in the first, it's Miami 3, Houston nothing. So it's Johnny Durden is the return man. Davis and Johnson are the upmen. And they'll return from one yard deep. You probably has got a leg, and of course we're indoors. There's no wind. Taking up the goal at one yard deep to the 10. Good return to the 20. To the 26-yard line, Cornelius makes the tackle. It's a gain of 27, and it's first and 10 from Houston at their own 26, 253 to go in the opening stanza. They look at Campbell and says, well, what do you want? And Campbell says, I'll take a sweep to the left. So they give it to Campbell on a sweep to the near side. And Miami snipped that one up all the way. Then Herter knocks him down after a loss of three. They blitzed. It was They doubled Mike Barber, and they blitzed for the pass and couldn't get away with it. Houston on the run. So clock running, second and 13. Wilson on the dive from the 23, and he gets it across the 25, the 27-yard line. Curtis Johnson makes the tackle, and it'll be third and nine for the Oilers from their own 27. They'll go three wide for the first time today. Dave Castor is the third receiver, or Rich Castor is the third receiver. He had a big game the last time I had him on. We need nine, huh? Medium slant the caster, and Miami doesn't like what they see, and they'll call timeout. 2.26 to go in the first quarter. Miami 3, Houston nothing. So we'll look at Mike Renfro instead and say, look, let's try a short slant. Nope, they're going to blitz. Screen to Campbell on the audible. Pastorini looks around, and he can't find Campbell. He called the audible too late, and that's his first incompletion. So Houston will be forced to punt. 2.16 to go. Cliff Parsley is the punter. He'll stand on his 12. Jimmy Cephalo. Back to return from the Dolphins. He stands at his own 28. And this will be a good return for Miami as Cephalo gets it from his own 36 across to the 45 before it is fumbled and recovered by Cephalo. <laughs> So it's a nine-yard gain, and the fumble was recovered by the fumbler. If you're wondering, it was Wilson that jarred the ball loose, and Miami will have it first and 10 from their own 44. 2.11 to go. McCreary is in a tight end. Williams on a pitch to the far side. There's a flag down, and Williams gets it back to the line before Kiner makes the tackle. Holding offense. Number 64. But there's a hold on Miami. It's Newman, the right guard. And so it's first and 20. It, this was a Monday night game for Week 12. So you've certainly seen highlights of it if you weren't even old enough to stay up to see it. I was not old enough to stay up to watch. We'll get to that next week. First and 20. Following the hold, and Leroy Harris will try his luck on a trap to the left in the 34. He gets to the 40, and the ball is loose, but Thea knocks it down, 
Bingham has it. Houston ball. So Miami turns it over inside their half of the field. And it's first and 10 for the Oilers from the Dolphin 40. And you can see those blue and white pom-poms and Bub, Bum Phillips tobacco spit all the way from up the upper deck. Campbell, trap right from the 40. And he gets about three before Bo Camper makes the stop under two minutes to go. Clock running, second and seven. Five carries for the Tyler Rose in the first quarter for six yards. Second and seven. Wilson on a sweep to the near side from the 37. Gets to the sidelines across the 35. But that'll about do it. Towel will knock him out of bounds at the 34. 111 to go. Third down and four. The key's on Campbell, which is why you got to use your second running back accordingly with this team. Short flat to Tim Wilson on third and four. Pastorini finds him at the 38. Runs down the skylines. He's got a first down and more across the 25 to the 22-yard line. Gordon with the tackle with gain of 12. And so Miami played nickel. And the Oilers still beat it. So it's first down. Clock stop of the minute three. Campbell. Trap left. From the 22. And Miami's just sitting there playing on him. Bo Camper with a tackle. And Campbell, who, as I said, ran rough shot over the Dolphins in real life, has been held to six yards on six carries. Under a minute to go. Clock running. Wilson. Sweep left in the 22. And he loses about a yard. Towel. Stop him right at the line. How you doing there, game into, game into there? Good to have you with us. So that will be the last play of the first quarter. It'll be third and long. After I take a drink. Miami 3, Houston nothing. Playing football. So third down and goal, or third and ten for Houston. What are we doing here? Barber. Short hitch. Pastorini is blitzed. He throws for Barber, who's got it. He's got a first down inside the ten to the five. Foley makes a tackle at the three-yard line. It's a gain of 19. And who would have thought? Just watch for a bit. You'll figure it out. It's first and goal for the Oilers. Who would have thought that the aerial game for the 78 Oilers would be enough? Two tight end set. Rucker joins Barber. Campbell. Mm, on a dive. The bowling ball will get it. First and goal from the three. He waits for the blocks and Miami just swarms him. Down to the one yard line. It'll be first or second and goal from the one. Wilson. On the dive. And he'll score. That's six. And the Oilers are on the board. 13-25. Tony Fritsch with the extra point to come. Here's the kick. It is up. It is barely good. He got it around the hook. He hooked it around the left side, and it's 7-3. 13-25 to go in the first half. The Tennessee Titans of yesteryear 7, the Miami Dolphins of yesteryear 3. So it's Fritsch. Harris is back deep. And that's off the side of his foot. That's not a good kick at all. Taken at the 5. 20-25. Contacted the 29 by Johnson. So Harris says, yep. I'm ready. First and 10 for the Dolphins. They trail 7 to 3, 13 20 to go in the first half. Greasy 1 for 2 for 9 yards. And he's looking at Nat Moore. 
Medium slant from the 29. Houston blitzes Miami. Greasy throws it. Moore has a first down at the 40. And not much more than that. It'll be J.C. Wilson on the tackle. And Nat Moore's got two catches for 20 yards. He has both of the throws. So first set for Miami from their own 40. Delvin Williams off tackle left. Across the 40 to the 45. Kiner with a tackle after a gain of six. Kuchenberg with a good block. That's the second good one of the game. And Miami has a short field now. Second and four. Delvin Williams, six carries, 15 yards. Let's see what Leroy Harris can do on an off-tackle left. Gracie gives it, and Houston was looking for that all the way. Kiner stands him up, fourth tackle. And Kuchenberg could not make the good block this time. And it'll be third and four. Miami will throw it. Well, Delvin Williams on a short pass to the flat. Greasy under center. That's the snap. Wait. He finds Williams at the 42. Trots down the sidelines. First down and more. Into Euler territory. It's a gain of 12. First and 10 from the Euler 42. All right. So first and 10. Miami cruising right along. They trail 7 to 3, second quarter. Harris off tackle right. And he gets it to the 40 before Alexander makes a tackle. They'll spot it at the 41. Six carries for Harris. He should come out. He shouldn't be touching it that many times. Gary Davis comes in. He's in the backfield with Williams. Both are good catching wide receivers. Second and nine. Davis on a sweep to the far side. And he's crossed the 40. First down inside the 30. 25. Kiner makes the tackle at the 24. A gain of 17. And again, Kuchenberg. Is just opening up lanes. You see he's a 10. He's the only one in that white in Aqua that has a 10 there. And he's doing his job. That's his third big block. And it sets the Dolphins up on the Houston 24. Daryl Harris on a medium cross. But that snap is botched. Greasy will be set by Brazil. And that's the third time that Greasy has found the Astrodome turf. It's a loss of two. Second and 12. The good news for Houston is that Stemrick is back in as the corner. How do you sub? All right. Uh, let me sub out the tight end here, McCreary. You click on, Dave, you click on where you, who you want to sub. Double click, and it gives you the options. Okay? Tellman is the is the... I'll put in Tillman should, because he should be catching a pass. Click on his name. And then click on OK. And if you need me to show you that again, I will. Because these teams are getting tired and they're going to sub out fast. So second and 12. Nine, under nine minutes to go in the, the second quarter. 7-3 Houston. Tillman. Short slant. Greasy, back to throw. Houston blitzes. Tillman's got it inside the 20. He's got a first down. There's a flag down as Tillman's tackled at the 9. Pass interference, defense, number 20. But it won't matter. Courier was all over him, and he interfered. So they'll pick up the – Dolphins will decline it. And Miami has it first and goal from the Houston 9. Williams off tackle left from the nine. He gets a little bit of a block to the five, and that's six. That's a touchdown. Again, well, Langer and Kuchenberg were the ones that ripped open the hole, and the Dolphins score. And so it's hard to believe, if you're old enough to remember Dan Marino's Dolphins, that this was a throw for his team. But the Dolphins were run, run, run for years, and they ran right into that touchdown. And your premium's extra point is up. 
and it's good. Hey, Bubba, how are you? The numbers that you see there, the fives, that I'll show you in the next play. The kick, Johnny Durden is back for the kickoff. Yepremian will kick it off. Dolphins 10-7, halfway through almost the second quarter. Yepremian boots it away, taken by Durden at the 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 28-yard line. Bab with a return. It's a 22-yard return. All right, let's take a look at those. Five. Uh, Zonka's not on this team. Let's take a look at one of the linemen here. You see the the seven here for Bob Baumhauer. That's his rating. You can also have it display the uniform numbers, but they're on the side. So that's what that is, Dave. That's his overall rating. One being you shouldn't be here, and ten being you're going to, I was going to say Cooperstown, you're going to Canton. So the Oilers trail it 10-7. to 7. And the main reason why is that the Oilers have had to do it through the air. Earl Campbell's been held to six yards. He'll start this one with an off-tackle to the left. And he's held right up by Dan Herter at the 29. Thomas. Is shaking up. He'll be gone for about 10 plays. And Small comes in as corner. Gerald Small. So second and nine. Bob Carpenter comes in to go with Campbell. Carpenter on a trap left. And he gets across the 30 to the 34. It's a gain of five. Dan Herter missed the tackle. Curtis Johnson made the tackle. So under eight minutes to go. Third and short for Houston. Campbell pitched to the near side. And he's got it. Does he find a seam? He will not. Chambers. With a three-yard gain. And Renfro is out. His return is doubtful. So Rich Caster co comes in, and it's fourth and one, and Houston isn't going to run that play. 7.34 to go in the half. Out comes Parsley. And Miami will fair catch this from the 20. Cephalo wants nothing to do with it. So as a team, the Dolph or the Oilers rather have run it 14 times for 25 yards. That isn't going to get it done. As I said in the real life game, Earl Campbell ran it 28 times for 199. Duriel Harris, long hitch to Harris on first and ten from the 21. Greasy has time. He waits. He throws it. Harris has it at the 45. Harris is knocked down by Stemrick after a gain of 26. First and 10 from the Miami 47. So they figured the Oilers would be playing for the run, and they got it. Uh, Dave, my injury setting is um, is not normal. It's the one beneath that. And that's not too terrible. If there is a fault with this game, is that they've had, it's that the injuries can be too severe. There's also a setting when you start the season that you can set the injuries to match the amount of games that they missed in real life. So let's say if Roe Campbell got injured now, he and if he didn't have that set, he would miss the rest of the season potentially, but he can't do that now. So they've improved it. Uh, okay, first and 10, Miami 47. Davis off tackle to the right, and he gets it to midfield. Into Houston territory before Baumgartner is back. Thomas will be back for Miami's defense in the next series. Second and six after the gain of four. Williams, trap left. And he gets a first down. Cross the 40. 35-30. 25-22 yard line. Reinfeldt. Mike Reinfeldt with a tackle. And Williams now has eight carries for 51 yards. And so Miami as a team is running 18 times for 98. Davis in the short flat. Nope, we're going to, yeah. They're not going to audible. Greasy throws. Davis has it behind his 25. 
And he cuts inside the 20 before Brazil can knock him down at the 16, a gain of six. And so Greasy, who threw for over 300 yards in the real game, is having himself a good start here. Under five minutes to go. Williams, trap left. And he is stopped short of the first down. Kiner knocks him down after a gain of two. Third and two. Clock running right around four minutes to go here in the first half. Dolphins 10, Houston 7. And this would be a gimme for your Premian if they can't make it. Davis trapped to the left. And he's got the first down and more. The five, and that's six. So Gary Davis, thanks to Larry Little, who rips open a huge hole, gets the score. Miami goes up 16 to 7. Extra point coming from your premium. It's up, and it's good. And so with 345 to go in the first half. Miami 17, Houston 7. And they'll down it three yards deep. And so Bum Phillips looks at the sideline at going, look, you got to get something together. Miami's just shutting down Earl Campbell and Houston isn't going to win without it. And since both teams are six and five look and are looking up in the wild card standings. Remember, New England has already won their game this week. The Dolphins with a loss assure the Patriots a tie for the division. And they'll be a wild card at worst. Houston is behind everybody else. Pittsburgh's in first place. They're 9-2-1. and one. Baltimore upset Cleveland. Cleveland's now 9-3. and three. And the Bengals are 7-5. and five. Houston's got to win the key pace. Long cross to Kenny Burrow on first down. Miami blitzes. Pass to Reney Waits. He fires. He's got Burrow open at the 40. 45-50. Towel with the tackle. It's a gain of 30. First and 10 for the Oilers. The key to on Campbell and Pastorini did what he had to do. Now what do you do for Campbell? Try to sweep to the near side is what they're going to try to do. From midfield, Campbell to the line of scrimmage and no more. They doubled Burrow this time. But Campbell, 10 carries for 12 yards. Second and 10. Carpenter this time on a trap to the right. And they stand him up. Gordon, no gain. And so Miami is telling Houston, beat us in the air, Mr. Pastorini. And he goes to the sidelines to talk it over. Two-minute warning at the Astrodome. Miami 17, Houston 7. Wow. Didn't expect this, guys. Let's see, we need 10. Medium cross to Rich Caster. Pastorini is protected. He looks, he throws. Caster's got it. First down in Miami territory at the 35, 36. They won the 35, they got it at the 36. Clock running. Pastorini, 6 of 7 for 90 yards. Campbell, quickly on the draw. And he gets through the secondary. No, he gets about two. So minute 15. And as cats for the ethical treatment of football players protest outside the door, we got ourselves a timeout. Campbell is 12 carries for 14 yards. I would never have suspected that. So they're going to throw it. They're already in field goal range for Fritch. Short hitch to Barber. He throws incomplete. Third and eight. So Campbell, we're going to try to pitch it to the right. They're trying to catch Miami off guard, and they just haven't done it yet. Campbell, pitch to the far side. This time he gets some room across the 30. A gain of four. Thomas with a tackle. And they're going to bring in Fritz for the field goal. 67% chance. Tony Frisch, Cliff Parsley, the puncher, will hold it. Mark, the center, will snap it. 
If you want to be pedantic, it's a pedantic 66.8% chance from 46 yards. Good snap, good hold. The kick is up. It's long enough. It is good. So with 38 seconds to go in the half, Miami 17, Houston 10. And Frisch puts this one away. Taken by one of the up men at the three. 10, 20, 28 yard line before Baumgartner gets it. And that will be the last play. Of the, well, we get, Greasy's got to snap it. And you can't, Dave, this early. I, I forget the year of the transition, but Greasy can't, Greasy can't kneel. He will, however, take a dive. He calls his own number. Doesn't get hurt. Bingham with a tackle. And at the end of the first half, Houston will get the football. Miami 17, Houston 10. And we'll put that one up for a second. You guys can kind of read what it says. Three touchdowns. Wilson on a one-yard run in the second quarter. Then Williams and Davis with two second-quarter touchdown runs for Miami. And field goals from your premium and Frisch. You can't see Greasy's. And so you, that's an easier way to see the stats for the specific players. Again, they've given Campbell the football, but he can't do anything with it. And if you're looking at team stats, Miami has had the ball 18 minutes and 26 seconds. But they only lead 17 to 10. Look at that rushing line. 21 for 114 for Miami. And 18 for 31 from Houston. Miami's fumbled it twice and turned it over once. So, time for a drink. Hope you're enjoying this. No live stream on Thursday. We will have something tomorrow night. I'm not sure what we're doing yet. For the holiday. And Dungeons and & Dragons and ID Gestures channel, I believe, is now Friday. We didn't have it last night. So check that channel out. Miami let the half end. They will kick it off. D Johnny Durden stands at his eight. Davis and Johnson are the upmen. He'll return it from two yards deep. Five, 10, 15, 20, 24 yard line before Cornelius got it. Got Durden. Durden bobbled it on the way out. But it's, he held on, and the Oilers will start from their own 22. First play of the second half. Burrow on a long slant. Pastorini looks around. He waits. He throws. Thomas got a hand on it. Incomplete. So Norris Thomas, I told you, he's a good defender. And he deflected the pass from Pastorini. Campbell. Sweep to the far side from the 22. And he gets to the 25 into the secondary for a gain of seven. That's a good run for him. Third down and three. Larry Gordon makes the tackle. And Houston will have it third and three from their own 29. Carpenter trapped to the right side. Waits. He has the first down and a couple yards more. Rusty Chambers makes the tackle after a gain of six. First and ten from the Houston 35. So... Right now, Campbell and Wilson, I mean, Carpenter and Wilson are more effective than Campbell. And try pitch to the right side for Campbell from the Houston 35. This time he gets across the 40. That's better. A gain of six for Earl this time around, and Gordon makes the stop at the Houston 41. Second and four. For the Oilers, their first drive of the second half, they trail 17-10. Carpenter, short pass in the flat from Pastorini. He throws. Carpenter drops it. Wasn't hit. That's just a flat-out oopsie drop. And Bum Phillips does one of those numbers. Third and four from the Oiler 41. 
Barber. Short hitch. And it's uh, caught by Barber for a first down. He gets it to midfield before Steve Foley makes the tackle after a gain of nine. It was a delayed blitz by Gordon. And Pastorini read it all away. They doubled Barber. He threw it in a double coverage and it worked. Bubba says, Rusty Chambers sounds like a misfire waiting to happen. Boom, boom. Go back, Bubba, last week when you got a few minutes and look at one of the defenders in that Cleveland-Houston game. Or maybe it was Dallas Green Bay. I'll say the long version of the first game. His first... It wasn't written on the screen that way, but I'm just going to say Michael Hunt. And yes, I'm a six-year-old kid, that's for sure. Set first and 10 from the Oilers right at midfield. First possession, second half, 17-10 Miami. Campbell on a dive. And he gets across midfield, and that's about it. In fact, uh, they give him one. Greg Sampson, the left tackle, could not make the block. And Miami blitz three. Larry Gordon with the sixth tackle of the game. And a second and nine. And again, Campbell has just not had any luck today. Houston is scoring 22.6 points a game. The defense is only allowing 21-3. Defense hasn't been, well, I can't say that, that Miami has run it well on Houston. That is not the case the other way around. Trap right to Carpenter. And he gets across the 45. Gordon makes the stop at the 42. It's a gain of seven. Conway Heyman, the right guard, with the big block. Two tight ends set. Carpenter and Campbell. Barber and Rucker are the tight ends. Campbell, off tackle left from the Miami 42, and he can't get the first down. Oh, he does get the first down. They measure, and Campbell's coming out. Tim Wilson comes in. <laughs> how, how, what... Why would you do that to a poor kid, Bubba? I don't understand. <laughs> Even if you're just as pure as a driven snow, you're gonna that one you're gonna get every once in a while. So Houston gets a fresh set from the Miami 40. 17-10 Dolphins. Under 10 to go. Caster on a medium slant. Miami blitzes. Pastorini's gotta get rid of it. He does to Wilson at the 40. He finds a little bit of an opening. It's a game of seven, and Baumhauer is hurt for Miami. He'll be back. So it's second and three with 9.23 to go. Baumhauer has gone. Barisic is the defensive tackle. Carl Barisic. And Dave, if you're still watching, the computer makes those subs automatically. On an injury. I don't do that. So second and three. Carpenter trap left. Campbell's getting a breather on the bench. Carpenter lunges for it and has it. So 11 plays, 48 yards, over five and a half minutes off the clock. 17-10 Miami. Burrow on a medium slant. Pastorini has time. He looks. He checks it down to Barber. Good coverage in the backfield, and there wasn't anyone open. Wilson in for Carpenter, and Campbell goes in. We're going to try running out of the eye this time. Second and ten. Campbell off tackle left. And he gets across the 30. And Bo Camper makes a tackle after a gain of 10. Last week against New England. And a game that we had. Campbell ran for 104, but 67 of that came in one play. No, this game is not free. 
Uh, Greg Sampson is the one that ripped open the hole. Eight and a half, clock running. First and ten from the Miami 20. Barber. Short crossed the, crossed the right Barber. Pastorini throws. Barber has it at the 14 or 12 yard line. It's a gain of eight. I believe the basic game without us, with just 20 teams, is uh, 30? 39? The one with the current season is usually 40. Let's see. For second and two from the Miami 12. Campbell, trap left. We want the first down. He's got it, and he's going to get six. He had to see him all the way. And Earl Campbell finally breaks through, and it's now a one-point game. 17-16. They keen on him, too. But you knew at some point he would get hot. So here's Frisch for the extra point. It is up. And it is good with 7.08 to go in the third quarter. It is Miami 17, Houston 17. And boys and girls, we won a good game. And by golly, it looks like we got it. Yes. Yes, Grumpy Cat. Yes. Okay. Harris is back deep. He stands at his eight. Kick is away from Frisch. Harris will field this at his 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 29 yard line. Robert Brazil with a stop, a 24 yard return. Williams, and we'll put Harris back in. Leroy Harris. Those are the setbacks. Duriel Harris and Nat Moore, the receivers, and Tillman, Andre Tillman, the tight end for Miami. 17-17, 17, 17, 7.02 to go, third quarter. Nat Moore on a medium slant. Houston blitzes. Greasy looks, fires. Moore has it. 40-yard line. Across midfield. In the Houston territory. Alexander makes a tackle at the 43-yard line. Again, a 28. Nat Moore with his third catch. And Miami's already in Houston territory after one play. It's their first snap of the second half. Williams on a trap to the right from the 43. Across the 40. Into the secondary. It's a first. No, it's not. It's a gain of nine and three quarters. But on the stat sheet, it'll go as a 10-yarder. So 10 carries for Williams for 63 and a score. And second and inches for the Dolphins from the Houston 33. Let's see. Duriel Harris. Long slant on second and inches. Greasy looking, looking throws. Harris has it at the 15. He's going to get six. That has been waiting for them the entire game. It's a low-pressure situation. You're not going to get intercepted. And Harris gets his 10th touchdown of the year. Two catches for 59 yards. And as it takes the Oilers almost 10 minutes to score, Miami responds in a minute 36. Extra point from your premium is up. And it's good. And Bob Bonhauer is available for the Dolphins. So with 5.26 to go in the third quarter, it's Miami 24, Houston 17. Yepremian gets this one away. Darden, or Durden, at the 5. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. No flags. No flags. And so Houston... Gets a very good return, a 35-yard return, and Matheson makes the tackle. So Campbell finally got his touchdown. What are we doing here? Burrow. Medium hitch. First and 10. Pastorini wants more. Burrow has it. First down inside Miami territory across the 45. It's a gain of 16. Norris Thomas with a tremendous hit. But Burrow holds on to the football. And so it's first and 10 for the Oilers from the Miami 44. 
Campbell will sweep it down to the near side. And he gets across the 40. Towel makes the tackle after a gain of six. And so Campbell's numbers are looking better now. Now up to 62 yards. It's been a good third quarter for him. Wilson on trap to the right. On second and four from the Miami 38. And they'll get it to the 36, and that will be a tackle by Larry Gordon. Oops. Third and two. So Burrow and Caster, we're going to run it. Campbell with two tight ends. Off tackle left. And no, Miami reads that all the way. No game. Steve Towell, the key on Campbell. And Miami expected it, and that's what they got. So third and fourth and two for the Miami 36. And now Bum Phillips tells Dan Pastorini they're going to do a poocher. Cliff Parsley comes out for the pooch. And that might be too good. Yep, that's too good. That's a touchback. And that's usually why I let the quarterback punt those. So first and 10 from the Dolphins from their own 20. 2.17 to go in the third quarter. Dario Harris. Short hitch. Greasy. Throws quickly to Harris at the 28. Stemrick with a tackle. Gain of eight. Second and two. The Leroy Harris will make it on the dive. And he's got the first down and more as he crosses the 30. Kiner with a tackle at the 32-yard line. So first and 10 for the Dolphins. They lead it by seven. Latter stages of the third quarter. Williams. Trap left. And Hatt gets... Almost no, well, he gets about three, two yards. Kiner with a tackle, that's his eighth. Williams, 11 carries, 65 yards. And this will be the last play of the third quarter. Second and eight. Leroy Harris on a sweep to the near side from the 34, gets across the 35. And Jeff Bingham ends the quarter. So with 15 minutes to go, Miami. Going left to right, third and six, they lead 24 17 at the Astrodome. So Tillman, short hitch, Greasy to throw, and Tillman was just not on the same page. Greasy with a quick three step drop, and Tillman just did not, was not where Greasy expected him to be. And so Miami is forced to punt. Guy Roberts. With Coleman and Merkins back deep. I think this is Merkins from his 20. 25, and there's a fumble. And Langer gets it back. Miami recovers it. Oh, no. It was Coleman. Well, let's watch it on the replay. Coleman caught it. And Alexander knocked it loose. And Langer, who was the center for Miami, picked it up. And so it's a return of five. Miami will start this on the 23. Now it was Merkins made actually made the good return, but the first time. But this could be this could be crucial, and we're thinking one play drive here. Long cross. Matt Moore. Greasy wants it all and he wants it right now. He's looking, he throws over the middle. More touchdown. You just couldn't do any better than that. If you drew that up with sticks on a playground and say, go to the telephone pole and turn into it. You just couldn't do it. Houston should have expected it. They do it. And so the extra point from your premium is good. So with 14.41 to go, following the turnover, first turnover for Houston, seven immediate points for Miami. They lead 31-17. Euphremian kicks it away. 
I have no idea. <laughs> Kickoff return is taken by Durden to the 22-yard line. <laughs> there are some questions that are just best left to Google, Bubba, and not for a public show. Just putting it out there. But if it is, I'm laughing. That would be funny. Campbell and Wilson, the setbacks. Burrow and Caster, the wide receivers. And Barber, the tight end for Houston. They need two touchdowns, and they have 14.34 to do it. See, I always was thinking Gherkins is the pickle. And I won't go any further with that. Let's see. Ken Burrow, medium slant. Pastorini's had a good game. He looks, he throws, dumps it down to Campbell at 20. And, and Campbell is tackled by half of the state of Miami at the 26, or the city of Miami. Larry Gordon, with his 10th tackle, he'll get credit for it. I meant city, not state. Don't send your cards and letters. Sweep left for Campbell to the near side from the, thir from the 26. He gets across to the 30. Before Gordon knocks him out of bounds after a gain of four. Clock stop, 1347. I. <laughs> to make one's mingle look more full and luxurious. <sighs> there are children watching this, Bubba. Well, there were. <laughs> uh. Okay, I trust you, bud. I trust you. Third and two for Houston from their own 30-yard line. Campbell on the fullback dive. And he's got it. He gets across to the 35. It's a gain of six, as a matter of fact. They'll spot it at the 36. Rich Vol Rick Volk makes his first tackle. Campbell with 22 carries for 72 yards. So 13-39, clock running. Caster. Short hitch on first down, and Pastorini actually finds Caster. Caster's going to get a first down. He's going to get it to the 47-yard uh, line, but Barber's done. He jogged off under his own power, but he's pointing someplace, and he won't return. Maybe his Merkins fell off. So Pastorini is now 12 for 17 for 145. Houston trails at 31-17, first and 10, fresh set of downs from their own 47. Campbell on a pitch to the near side. And he gets it to midfield and gets into Miami territory before Larry Gordon knocks him down after a gain of six. And Gordon's 12th tackle of the game. So Houston has stuck with the run. It hasn't been all that effective. But Pastorini just doesn't have 8,000 receivers. That's nothing to joke about. Okay. Now, I'm not going there. I'm not going there. You're going to draw me into a conversation that's going to get me in trouble. Uh, full and luxurious. Burrow on a medium cross. And Pastorini needs to throw it on second and four. He waits. He dumps it down to, uh, I'm not sure who he was throwing it to, but Bromhauer with a tip, and it's incomplete. So third and four for Houston. They go two tight end for Campbell and Wilson. And Campbell says, I want to trap to the, the left. And so that's what they give him for the Miami 47. He gets it to the 45 before Den Herder will make the tackle. They give him an extra yard, but it's a yard. No, now it's a yard short. They got to go. They need two scores. So it's going to be Wilson. Trap right. Two tight end set. Flag is down. They get the first down and more across the 40. Illegal motion. Oh. Defense. But Rocker, who's the tight end on the injury, moves before the snap, and you can't go for it on fourth and six. So Cliff Parsley will come out to punt. Cephalo back to return it. Oops. They'll let it roll.
and Cephalo lets it lets it touches it at the six yard line. So Miami starts from there, eleven to eight to go. So does Rusty have a Merkins too, Bubba? First and ten, Miami six yard line. It is Williams and Harris, the running backs. Harris and Moore, the wide receivers. Tillman, the tight end. As we get into the case of the holiday sillies here on, on NFL Replay 78. If you just join us, Miami 31, Houston 17. The Dolphins will prevent the Patriots from clinching the division. But they'll still be three back with four to play. Houston, with this, if they do lose, will fall to dead last in the AFC Central at 6-6. Six and six. Daryl Harris on a medium cross from the 6. Houston blitzes. Greasy can't find him. That was a risky pass, and it's incomplete. Greasy now 10 of 13 for 173 yards and two scores. Trap left to Duriel Williams on second and 10 from the 6, and he's going to get in the secondary and more. First down across the 20. Stemrick makes a tackle off the 22. <laughs> Uh Bubba. Bubba. Thank you. Well, you got to get you on one of those Friday shows or those chats with Al. That's just, uh, mm, yeah. Oh, oh, my Lanza. 1049. That was a gain of 16. Stemrick makes the tackle of Williams. Larry Little, by the way, made the big hole at left guard. And Miami has run it 26 times for 148 yards. That's nearly six yards a pop. Leroy Harris off tackle right from the 22. He gets it to the 25. Baumgartner makes the tackle. Tillman, the tight end for Miami's shaking up. He'll limp off, and McCreary comes in. That stops the clock. 10.09 to go in the game. Houston cannot allow a score. They need to stop Miami. In fact, the faster they do it, the better. Williams trap left, second and seven from the 25. And Bingham knocks him down for a loss of one. They keyed him, and it worked. And so they're not going to force Greasy to throw it. 10.03, clock running. Harris, short hitch. Greasy, quick throw, incomplete. He threw it away. No receiver, and that's a quick route. Houston wasn't blitzing, but they had everyone covered. So fourth and eight, and Houston got what they wanted. 9.25 in regulation. And so here comes Roberts for the punt. Roberts from his nine. Fielded at the 36 to the 40. 44, and that's Coleman. Ronnie Coleman with the punt return. No Merkins, Gherkins, or whatever there. Sorry, Bubba. So return to seven on a 41-yard punt, and Houston starts his drive from their own 42. Rucker is in for Barber, remember, on the injury, and Caster is in as well. And so short hitch to Caster. No, flat pass to Wilson on first and 10. Out of the audible. He's got it behind the 40. Across the 45 midfield. First down into Miami territory. It's a gain of 14. So four catches for Wilson for 38 yards. And the fifth tackle for Curtis Johnson. And it'll be first and 10 from the Miami 44. Under nine to go. Oilers need two scores. Burrow on a medium cross. Audible's into a screen to Campbell. Pastorini waits. Campbell's got it at midfield. Does he have any room? He gets to the line. He gets a little bit more than that. In fact, he's going to get a first. No, he's a little bit shy. It's a 10-yard gain, but not really because you're rounding up. So it'll be second down in inches. <laughs> Bubba is in a holiday spirit today, my friends. What you talking about, Coleman? Let's see. Second and inches. Eight minutes to go. Campbell. Draft left. 
for the first down. He's got it, and he gets across the 30 to the 28-yard line. Gordon with his 14th tackle. First and 10, halfway through this last quarter. Miami 31, Houston 17. Medium out to Caster. Castorini looks, looks, saws all day. He checks it down. Johnson got a hand on it. And Pastorini was hit by Bo Camper as he threw it. So, actually, Houston is lucky there that nothing untoward happened. Unlike most of someone's jokes this evening or this afternoon. Pitch left to Campbell from the 28-yard line. He gets it to 25, first down. Bo Camper with a tackle. He is knocked out of bounds. That's the best part at the 16. So, Greg Sampson... The look at the right side, the left tackle, is the one that made the big hole for Campbell. And it'll be first and 10 for the Oilers from the Miami 16-yard line. Medium hitch to Caster. They need a touchdown. They hit quick. Passerini throws. Caster's got it at the 5. And Caster's got 6 points. That's a touchdown. And the Oilers have cut this to a one-score game. Pending the extra point from Tony Frisch. So, everything kind of rides on this. Frisch gets it down and it is good. So a little bit to the left, but it's still between the uprights. With 6.36 to go, it's Miami 31, Houston 24. And Miami will return this one yard deep. Defense needs to stand tall for Houston. Return to the 10. 20, 25, good return, 30, past the 35. Out of bounds at the 34. Andre Tillman, the tight end, is back from Miami. Williams, Harris, the setbacks, Harris and Moore, the wide receivers. Greasy, 10 for 14 for, uh, for 173 yards. Oh, yeah, Dave, especially in these years. Extra points up until about... 85, 86 are not a gimme. Because you still got a mix of soccer style kickers and poor fields. Soccer style kickers being the modern day ones and the and the old straight leg kickers, the pendulums, combined with poor fields. This game mimics statistics, I think, very well. I think I don't think you'll be disappointed by this purchase at all. I'm not even a huge football fan, but I really enjoy these games. Then again, I get to pick the season I want to play, too. But this is our 12th week of this replay. All right. Hey, Sarah, I need a seltzer, and you probably should go. So first and 10 from the Miami 34. If you go back and watch some of these other games in the replay, Dave, missed extra points are big issues. It, it is cost team wins, for sure. Just like it did in real life. Duriel Williams on a draw? That's not what I meant to do. Anyway, it's a good run because he gets across the 40 before Curly Culp makes a tackle at the 43. Surprisingly, that's his first tackle of the game. And Delvin Williams has 14 carries for 89 yards. So Miami can try to play keep away. In the real game, he had 18 carries for 73. Greasy threw it 33 times in the real game for 349 yards. He won't need to do that today. Second and one, clock running. Stopped right for Leroy Harris. And there's a flag down. Harris gets the first down. Brazil makes the tackle. Holding offense. Number and it's coming back. Ten yard penalty. So a three-yard gain is wiped out by the hold by the wide receiver. And so it'll be second and 11 for Miami from their own 33. Clock stop, 540 to go. Williams. Off tackle left. And he has a little bit of a seam across the 35 to the 37. Kiner with the tackle. Third and long. Kiner with nine tackles on the afternoon or the evening. They're going to go... 
three wide. And I'm going to go Daryl Harris on a short cross. Three wide receivers. Greasy has time. He's got Harris for a first down at the 45-yard line. Stemmerich with the tackle. It's a gain of eight. That's what they needed. First and ten from the 45. And Harry, Daryl Harris, Harris, I can learn to read at some point. I'll be 47 soon. Four, four catches for 75 yards and a score. So Leroy Harris comes back in along with Duriel Williams. Oh, that kicker that the Bills are in the OJ season now is doing is atrocious. Yep, there's there's some bad ones. The Patriots kicking situation is just atrocious too. Um, let's I can't remember offhand, Dave, but there there will be a team that will miss the playoffs because they got a loss on this replay from a missed extra point. He couldn't hit sand if he fell off the camel. <laughs> oh, Bubba. Oh, Bubba. That's great. Williams, sweep left from the Miami 45. He's sweeping to the far side. He waits for a block. He doesn't really get one. Kiner with a tackle for no gain. Steve Kiner's seventh tackle. You know, Scully was my idol growing up. And, yeah, you tend to imitate that. Scully was a better football announcer than people give him credit for. I, I try not to intentionally tell, sound like anybody, but but Scully is my idol. And so, if I sound a little bit like him, I'm a poor man's imitation for sure. Second and 10, Miami 45. Clock running. We're going to go under four minutes to go. And... Dive to Harris. And that will be nothing. They're going to lose a yard. Baumgartner with a tackle. A loss of one. And so it'll be third and 11. Miami's going to be forced to throw under three minutes to go. Nat Moore. They need 11. Medium hitch. Greasy to throw it. He is rolling. He throws it. Incomplete. And Baumgartner is hurt. He's going to stay in the game. But Miami is forced to punt with 2.48 to go. Houston is going to get the ball back in all three timeouts. And so Roberts will stand on his 29-yard line. The difference between me and Vin is I say Falcons. And I see some of his old videos on, on the tube of some of his games. And I've never heard anyone else pr pronouncing the Atlanta Falcons. So Roberts to punt. Coleman and Merkins back to return it. Houston will try the return. Paul is away, taken at the 19 to the 25, 30, 32 yard line. And it's Merkins. And this time, all the hair stays in place, and it's a return of 13 yards. So Houston starts this. This drive, they're looking to force overtime. They have 2.42 on the clock. They need seven. A field goal does them no good, and they need 69 yards. They have all three timeouts and the two-minute warning. So Campbell can do what he wants. They're going to start with a pitch to the right for Campbell. To the near side, far side, pardon me. And he gets it to the 33 before A.J. Dewey gets it. And Campbell finally breaks 100 yards. Never saw that one coming. All of that came in the second half. He had 12 yards at the half. And 90 yards here in the, third, in the second half. So 236. We don't need to hurry up. Burrow, medium cross. Miami blitzes. Pastorini's rushed. He throws over the middle to Burrow. Over midfield at 45. Thomas with a tackle again at 22. And they will let it go to the two-minute warning. From the Miami 44. Miami 31. Houston 24. I knew this would be a good game. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. They'll stick with this formation. 
Sweep left for Campbell. From the 44, it gets across to the 41, 40-yard line, and it got out of bounds. So a minute 51 to go. 31-24. Spot it at the 40. Touchdown for overtime. There's really no way Houston can win this in regulation unless you get 17 miracles stacked in a row. Screen to Wilson on second and six. Pastorini waits, and it's incomplete. He threw it high, and he can't do that. Obviously, we're in four-down territory, so they have two chances to get six. Did Rucker even catch anything? Yeah, Conrad Rucker on a short cross. Pastorini to throw it. He can't get it. And so it's fourth in ball game. even though Miami will probably have to get a first down. Houston can stop it and can get it back. So they wait. They're thinking of a play. Pastor. They need six. Short hitch. And Miami sends in the sink. The throw is intercepted by Johnson. Miami's going to win it. Knocked out of bounds at the 26-yard line. Curtis Johnson gets his sixth interception of the game. On fourth down, Miami's defense stands up. And they're going to most likely win it. So let's watch it on the replay. Pastorini had the kitchen sink there, and all he could do was just get rid of it. And Johnson read his eyes. How do I throw near the sideline? Well, you can hit this one for, I'm not sure my mouse is on. I clicked a button. You can head out of bounds which gets everyone there. But normally the pass patterns are going to be, you know, a screen is toward the sidelines. Uh, there must be, what else have I got here? Screens, passes in the flat, head out of bounds is usually the safe one, Dave. That tells them that they, they've got to run out. But anything that draws motion to the side, so like a sweep to the, sweeps and pitches can get out of bounds. Draws and dives are obviously in there. Uh, crosses and slants are pretty much over the middle of the field. An out is an outside pattern. And a screen is an outside pattern. I need a seltzer, babe. And a screen is an outside pattern. All right. So first and 10 for Miami from the 26. It looks like they're going to win this game. As they did in real life, 35-30. Short cross to Harris. They want the first down and make Houston call a timeout. Harris has got it. He's got a first down. He gets it to the 40. Stemmerk with a tackle. And, yep. And so I'm not sure that Houston can get it back now. I think that's what they need to do. So Norm Bullock comes in. Thank you. That, that T is done, yeah. So a dive play to Bullock, and now Houston's going to need an absolute miracle. Bullock on the dive from the 39. He gets it across the 40. He gets into traffic. He gets a first down. What blocking for Miami as that's a 12-yard gain for Bullock, and that will do it. This is the last play that's going to mean anything because Miami can – Houston can only stop it once. So Bullock – Again, on the dive. And he is hit at the line. Houston will call timeout. A minute 10 remaining. And so here, Dave, run safe. It would be nicer if someone would actually put some of these in the fridge before I drink them. And we'll go Devin Williams on a trap to the right. And he's tackled by Washington at the 49. A minute four. Clock running now. And so Miami's going to win. New England cannot clinch the division this week. I'm not sure what we're doing for games next week. Washington and Dallas for sure. 
That's the Thanksgiving Day game. But we're going to play one on a, from that Sunday too next week because that would have that game those Thanksgiving weekend games from '78. Those Sunday games were on my seventh birthday, and so my 47th birthday is Monday. So we're going to play Washington and Dallas from Thanksgiving, and I'm not sure what the other game is. But this is the only scheduled game. Well, I played the rest of them on the CPU versus CPU. So this is it for week 12. We hope that you have a wonderful Thanksgiving wherever you are. Third and 10. Delvin Williams on the dive. And so Houston is in a heap load of trouble. It's a gain of three, and that's it. They can't run any other plays. The final score from the Astrodome, Miami 31, Houston 24. And Dave, if you're still there, and if you got any other real quick questions, I can answer them. Bob Greasy, 12 for 17 for 194 yards. 147 quarterback rating. Wow. Pastorini did his best. Of the three, I think it's the third Houston game I've done. And that was clearly the best by Pastorini. Campbell somehow ran for over 100. And he never had to run longer than 12. He just kept getting those five or six yarders in the second half. Scoring summary. Let's see. It was 17 to 10 at the half. And then Houston actually tied it at 17 on a Campbell 12-yard run. Then Greasy got busy. 5.26 to go. In the 30, he hit Daryl Harris for a touchdown. And then Nat Moore on this very early on following a fumble. Uh, one play drive. And that was the difference. 31 to 17. And then Pastorini hit Rich Caster. For a touchdown pass, and that made it 31 to 24. Injuries. Barber's out. Not sure how long he's going to be out for. And so, no serious injuries for Miami. And so, that'll do it. We wish you a happy Thanksgiving from Retro Sports Network. I'm Ron Jucky. Hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll do something for the holiday tomorrow. I'm not sure what it is we're going to do, but something special. Maybe it's just me, maybe just us on camera. And so until then, I'm Ron Juckett. We'll talk to you the next time.